Live from Las Vegas, Nevada, it's Keto Cooking. Welcome back, everybody. Today's Sunday dinner. Today we're going to make some pork lollipops. We're going to take pork tenderloin, cut them up, put them on a skewer onto my griddle, and also going to be making some zucchini fritters. Let me show you how that's done in a minute. Okay, going to trim them up, get some, rid of some of the silver skin on there and some of the excess fat. Now, in a pan of water, I have uh, six skewers. I'm going to be putting two to a skewer. I soak them in the water this way they don't burn when I put them on my lodge skillet. And as they cook, because these are going to cook for a little bit. Not This is not going to be fast. This is... Uh, I'm going to get some nice markings on them, and I also want them to cook through. So it'll be two to a skewer. And there you go. Now, I'm going to take some olive oil, and I'm going to paint some happy little trees. Over here, I think I'll paint a little piggy. No, wrong shot. I'm going to... Olive oil both sides this way so my seasoning will stick. And then I'm going to be putting them back into the refrigerator and let everything set up while I make my zucchini fritters. Now the seasoning today is salt, pepper, garlic, and onion, my go-to. And this time I'm adding a little bit of Chinese five spice. And this stuff's good, especially with pork. It really brings out the flavor nice. Uh, it's got uh, a nice taste to it. Not overpowering, I don't want to use too much. But I want everything to be blended pretty much together. So I'll be sprinkling this on both sides, and then, like I said, into the refrigerator. And I like to have fun when I cook, clown around a little bit, and uh, enjoy my, my uh, time as I'm cooking. Well, if I could talk, I'd be worth money. All right, I had zucchini left over from when I made my chaffles in my last video. Uh, they dried out pretty nice. In my blender, I used one large egg and these babies right here, pork rinds. Now into my nonstick pan, I'm going to be using some olive oil. Hello, olive. Now get that heated up. Now I have a small ice cream scoop and I'll be putting them in packing them down a little bit and these will cook up nice you could use your hands with it but I mean uh, the scoop works out fine smash them down a little bit and let them go. You just want to brown these up. They're kind of thin, so they'll, they'll cook up pretty quick. Now I'll get my flipper going. There you go. All right, look nice. Nothing to it. I'm coming up on a year now. June 17th will be a year. And uh, doing good. Everything is coming out right. So like and subscribe. Follow me here a little bit. Um, I'll help you out with some cooking ideas. Okay, back to the paintbrush. Now I have this griddle on top of my burner. I heat it up pretty much and I get the flame down back down to medium because the cast iron really really holds the heat nice. I don't want to be burning anything, but I want the flavor to be there. A little spice on. Titanium white onto the pork. No, wrong show. 
Uh, I'm gonna put some more olive oil on. And then I'll be putting on some more spice. All right, this is about wrapped up here. I'm gonna be getting ready to plate this bad boy. Ooh, there it is. Now Marie made some mayonnaise with sriracha sauce, a little bit of uh, cayenne pepper on top of it. Very good, had a nice flavor. A little squeeze of lemon on top of the fritters. And right, let's dig into this thing. Okay, like I said, we don't clown around here when it comes to food. Or do we? Hey, listen, thanks for watching. Tune in next time for Keto Cooking for Diabetes. I'm Tom, the Keto Cook. Don't forget, like and subscribe. And I'll see you next trip. Enjoy.